our scarf is gone. But we're no longer freezing. Okay. And we got the wind picking up again. What is in the light? It's going to happen to us and our friend when we get to the other side of this. soft but happy violin music now. into a sea of white. Is that the snowfield or the desert? Looks like the snowfield. Yeah, snowfield, because that's right next to the mountain. You see a light ascending up in the sky. I'm trying to figure out what this game made me feel. Because there was a roller coaster of emotions. That is for sure. I'm gonna have to find somebody to play their other game with. Because that game company made another game that's on the Switch that's co-op. I believe it's a, I believe it's a free-to-play game, but I, I need to find somebody to play it with. Based on my feelings on this game, I want to play more things that they've made. We will need to set up time to do that, Bell. Mm 
boxes. This is a very good game. Well, I understand why my friends were so adamant that I needed to play it now. Well, this game was originally a PlayStation exclusive that apparently came to PC a few years later, a few years ago. Not entirely clear on the timeline, but... I understand why so many people were talking about it being a game that was that if you had a PlayStation you definitely had to get. Well, that could be what led to it being released on the PC if it became perma-broken on the PlayStation 4. Because what console did it originally release on? Was it PS3 or PS4? It was released on PlayStation 3 originally. Ported to PlayStation 4 three years later. And it came to PC two years after that. Companions met along the way. Lucas. Boxtrot Actual. So those are the actual people, slash usernames of people I was playing with. Okay. So... In the different areas, they were with other people. That is a very nice touch. I assume that it switched me out if I got too far away from them. Because there were those areas where it was jumping back and forth where I'd see someone ahead of me, then someone behind me, then someone ahead of me. So that could have been it going I was too far away from my companion and it was matching me with someone else. That's, I like that it lets you know, hey, these are the people you played with. That is a very nice touch. If we say start, what happens here? Lands us back here in the desert. So right from the starting point. Okay, but do we got the... We do have a layer of clothing, a layer of runes on our on our uh, robe now. That wasn't there before. We have the extra shapes there on top. I'm going to need to play this more. Because if it adds more each time we play the game, like the person that, uh, like, uh, Toolkiss, the, the one that we were with for most of the time, their robe went up, like, about halfway with different symbols and graphics on their robe. If we beat it again, do we get more added on? Or is it based on finding, like, the hidden pictures and runes for an area that adds stuff to it? I... I am invested in this. And I want to know. Oh, uh, my curiosity has been piqued. I need to know. Let's run over there, get our scarf. Cause yeah, it's like you can see the little figures on there. It's like I can't zoom in on my robe, but it's like there's there's more stuff there than there was before. Mm. 
but I want to see because I because the area at, at this first area here where we went down, there were all those different areas that were gated off. I want to see if there's something different there. Now that we've finished the game, th does it do something there? Okay, so we need to refine the glyphs, it seems. So it doesn't look like we get to carry our scarf over. Do the murals stay? Well, there's a mural over here, so let's go check that. Mural, mural, mural. Right, there's a mural in here. Activated last time. Murals reset. Okay. Same picture as before. We run around to the top of the building. Da, da, da. So yeah, we can't go farther that way, it blocks us. So we go down here, this little starter area, and this says that we missed a glyph in room three and two glyphs. That's the sand slidey area, isn't it? No? No, it's not the sand slidey area. Hold on. What's this do? It gave us a different rune symbol this time. Okay, but these doors, are they open now? It looks like they are. So what are these? Okay, so that's to teleport to the frozen tundra. There's one, two murals in this area. We found both. Or is there supposed to be a third along the back? I'm not sure, because it looks like that just would hold this picture here. So it's a nice little recap area of a, hey, this area. Does it have an area to check whether or not you found the runes here? I'm not seeing a rune. There, there weren't runes there. Uh, Where was one that had runes? So we need to check whether or not it displays whether or not we found the runes in the area. Because so that's very nice for going back and checking to get the murals for the story. Okay, I'm going to need to get scarf power to get up in there. Let's run around, activate this so we can get the scarf and run into the different areas and see what they have. Uh, run around, run around, run around. Yeah, and it lights up on our robe. Oh, my curiosity, I need to know. Let me go to an area. So if we run in here, that shows we've got that picture. This is the big spire. Okay, there's only one picture that it's showing in here. So I think that there might actually be three pictures per room, or per world. 
I'm also not seeing glyph markings. We've got the one area there that we can use to check for glyph markings, so that's not that big of a deal if it doesn't show it in the individual rooms. Come over here. This is down in the spooky spook. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna throw that spooky spook area, aren't I? Sand dunes definitely missed stuff here. Oh wait, no, because this pi this picture is not filling in, so it's not a hey the, the wall's empty because there's a picture that you didn't find. If there's a picture we didn't find, it shows the frame. Is there something we need to grab from there? Got those pictures, okay. So if we go back and visit this area, what happens if we sit on this pedestal? Does it take us to the start or end of this section? On it. Hey, 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 hey. Takes us to the start, okay. So we took left path last time, so we're taking right path. Oh, there's a rune right there. Oh, that's what he was signaling me with those... Okay, so he was trying to tell me which way to go to grab the runes. And our scarf, it looks like, does not keep, keep track of the other runes we would have found between the areas. So if we want to have a max scarf, we need to grab... We need to play through from start to finish. I think on this area, he stayed in the center. Okay. We just saw a star shoot through the sky. Does that mean that there's another person who just finished the game? Do we, do we see that happen anytime somebody finishes? Okay, we're going center this time because that's where our buddy went last time. See a glow over here? No? Is that a different glow? I guess that was just a different glow. Okay. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. 
And we go down around. There's another one. I think that's people... I think that's us seeing when people finish the game. Finish the story. here. Into the spooks. Does anything change in the story when we're told? No, that's the same we were told before. Oh, we can just go chapter select from here. And now entering chapter select area. Progress in current area will be lost. Okay, so if we want to save that we found things, we need to continue on to the next area and then from there go to chapter select. Okay, but that is definitely something I can play around with and find out more about how that all works and keep you all posted as I explore. Because I am very, very curious. But I don't feel like hunting things down and clearing the game out, you know, two, three, four more times on stream. But I don't mind showing you guys what we get in the Discord as we go through and do stuff, whether or not we get fancier robes and stuff. So we're on to the next area and save. And then we'll hop over to another game. I don't want to play through the spooky section again, but I'm missing a lot of things there. 